10. Famous Failures That Will Inspire You To Be A Success If you thought failure is something to dread and avoid, maybe it's time you reconsidered that opinion. Coco Channel once said that success is most often achieved by those who don't know that failure is inevitable. Also, according to J.K. Rowling, failure is so important we speak about success all the time. It is the ability to resist failure or use failure that often leads to greater success. I've met people who don't want to try for fear of failing. Like success, failure is equally an outcome. And just because it wasn't an outcome you were expecting doesn't make it a bad thing. It just means that you haven't found a way to make what you are trying to get work. So instead of getting discouraged and giving up, you try again until you achieve success. This is something that successful people understand, which is why they achieve success. In this video, I'll share with you the 10 famous failures that will inspire you to be a success. This, I believe, will help you become a successful person. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. 1. J.K. Rowling J.K. Rowling, the author and creator of Harry Potter, tops our list. She started jotting down the idea of Harry Potter when she was on welfare as a result of being unemployed, divorced, and was a single mom. When she was done writing her book, she took it to several publishing companies, but she was rejected 12 times. Despite this, the author went ahead to publish that book. Today, Rowling is the ninth best-selling fiction author who has sold over 500 million copies of her book. The entire Harry Potter franchise alone is worth $25 billion, and her net worth is believed to be around $650 million. Her books have even turned into movies. In describing her life story, she said, and I quote, I had failed on an epic scale. An exceptionally short-lived marriage had imploded and I was jobless, a lone parent and as poor as it was possible to be in modern Britain, without being homeless. The fears that my parents had had for me and that I had for myself had both come to pass, and by every usual standard, I was the biggest failure I knew. 2. Bill Gates Bill Gates was a Harvard dropout and a co-founder of a business called Trafo Data, which eventually failed after a short period of execution. However, Gates didn't use this failure as an excuse to give up. If anything, he channeled the lessons that he learned from the experience into pioneering the famous software company, Microsoft. Today, he is the second richest billionaire in the world, with a net worth of $90 billion. According to him, it is fine to celebrate success, but it is more important to heed the lessons of failure. 3. Steve Jobs Can you imagine what it feel like to be fired from a company you created after an altercation with your board of directors? That is exactly what happened to Jobs at Apple. This experience, however, didn't lead to depression on any of those. Instead, it made him realize that his passion for his work exceeded the disappointment of failure. It was at that point that he ventured into Next and Pixar, which eventually led him to take back his position as the CEO of Apple. According to Jobs, and I quote, I didn't see it then, but it turned out that getting fired from Apple was the best thing that could have ever happened to me. 4. Nick Woodman When Nick Woodman realized that he wanted to become an entrepreneur, he ventured into a few businesses, all of which failed. At that point, he decided to do what most successful entrepreneurs did. He pursued his passion. He loved surfing and traveling, so he decided to embark on a surfing tour. On the tour, he realized that there wasn't anything in the market that will allow him to take surfing videos while he surfed. Hence, the birth of GoPro. Today, Woodman has sold over 30 million of his cameras worldwide, and he has an estimated net worth of $990 million. Woodman once said, As soon as I stopped trying to think about a business idea and started focusing on what I'm passionate about, that's when it came to me. 5. Albert Einstein The early life of Albert Einstein was a disaster. He could not speak fluently until the age of nine. He was expelled from school as a result of his rebellious nature, and he was refused admittance to the Zurich Polytechnic School. The famous intellect and innovator of the electric light bulb won the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1921 after 1,000 attempts in building the electric bulb model. According to him, success 
is a failure in progress. 6. Michael Jordan Jordan, the retired basketball legend, once spoke of himself in a Nike advertisement that, I've missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I've lost almost 300 games. 26 times I've been trusted to take the game's winning shot and missed. I've failed over and over and over again in my life. And that is why I succeed. When he started to become a basketballer, he was rejected a lot because of his height. Jordan had to practice and failed a lot at the same time before he became the legend of basketball we all know him to be today. 7. Walt Disney Walt Disney, Mickey Mouse's creator, dropped out of school at an early age to join the army. Unfortunately, he didn't make it. He managed to secure a job and was soon fired at the newspaper firm by an editor who said he lacked imagination and had no good ideas. Shortly after, he acquired Laughogram, an animation studio that went bankrupt. He later set out for Los Angeles only to discover that Hollywood did not have any animation studio. This was what led to the creation of Mickey Mouse. Today, the Walt Company is worth $95.79 billion. Disney once said that we don't look backward for very long. We keep moving forward, opening up new doors and doing new things because we are curious. And curiosity keeps leading us down new paths. 8. Jeff Bezos Jeff Bezos, the richest man in the world, has equally experienced a handful of failed attempts. The Amazon founder has not only made mistakes before the birth of his company, but had also made quite several mistakes in the company because he believes in creating a culture that embraces failure. Some of his innovations has led to total failure. He is worth $150 billion. 9. Stephen King As a kid, Stephen King was paranoid, troubled, and tormented by nightmares. Also, he was raised in poverty. Growing up, he resorted to alcohol and drugs to take away the pains and unhappiness that he felt. Eventually, he started writing. However, he was turned down by so many publishers. His frustrations, however, made him write more and better until he became one of the best authors we know today. 10. Oprah Winfrey According to Winfrey, do the one thing you think you cannot do. Fail at it. Try again. Do better the second time. The only people who never tumble are those who never mount the high wire. Oprah had a rough childhood, abused by her dad, dealing with teen pregnancy and miscarriages, but she learned how to persevere. When she started her TV career, a producer told her that she was unfit for television news. Instead, the same producer offered her a role on another television show called People A Talking, a show which ended up becoming a huge success. At this point, Oprah became the host of her show, which she aired for 25 years. Today, she has a network called OWN and has generated a net worth estimated at $4 billion. The truth is that, if these people could achieve success despite their rough beginnings, then you can equally achieve whatever you set your mind to achieve. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'd like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other videos we handpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.